Good morning, YouTube Pie Smokers. This is the third attempt at making this video. I've been running into technical difficulties. Phone rings. Uh, battery dies on the camera, you name it. Anyway. 83 degrees in New York. Weather's very nice. Dry. Anyway, two subjects, pipes and pipe cost, and then making YouTube videos. So, you know, as we know, you can buy pipes from all ranges, uh, dirt cheap pipes like a corn cob, all the way up to boutique pipes in the thousands. Now, this is not to knock any pipe maker or carver. If you can get $2,000 for a pipe, more power to you. But we're talking about value. Is there really value of a, of a high-end pipe? Is there value in that pipe? In my opinion, no. Now, we see this a lot in car restoration. You take a car, uh, you restore a car, and many times the cost to restore that car will exceed the value of the vehicle. So I, I'll take an army jeep, a real basic vehicle. And I, I had one, a uh, World War II jeep. You could spend upwards of $30,000 restoring an army jeep. The value you won't get 30000 for that Jeep. You're lucky to get 15000 So you double the cost of what it uh, costs to restore. You'll lose half of it if you went to sell it. Unless you got really lucky and a, a collector really liked it and had the money and blah, blah, blah. But in, in, a, in a actual value, uh, it's just not there. Now, same thing with pipes. I think Savinelli, in my opinion, does it right. They have their low-end pipe, let's say Rossi, or even their uh, basic Savinelli. You can pick up a Savinelli for $90. They all smoke great. And then they have the Artisan brand, uh, which is high-end. But this, this uh, German pipe maker, her name escaped me right now. And um, he has this one pipe that intrigues me. It's a uh, poker looking pipe with a clear glass stem and a calabash type of chamber. But the pipe's like $1,500. Now, no way is the pipe worth that. But he's one of the only ones I've ever seen that does a glass type of stem. So in that sense, if you want a glass stem, you're going to have to pay that to get a pipe like that. But is the pipe actually worth it? And the answer is obviously no. Because it's not going to smoke any better than a Dr. Graybo or a corn cob. The only thing that does intrigue me is once in a while smoking pipes, I haven't seen it recently, but they have a pipe made out of some wood from an old church in the 1800s or some famous uh, wood ship. That intrigues me and you're getting really a one-off. Matter of fact, there's a watch company that does this. They make watches out of uh, old World War II airplane parts. That is something intriguing, you know, you to me, that's a different level of uh, work. Uh, 
So if a carver takes 30 or 40 hours to make a pipe, and I understand why they get expensive. You take 40 hours to make a pipe, which is probably not unrealistic. Um, if you feel you're worth $50 an hour, right away you get $2,000 in labor. So to turn a profit, you have to sell that pipe for a lot of money. I get it. But it doesn't mean that the pipe is actually worth that. Just some observations I made. Uh, my own opinion, of course. I'm curious to hear what others think about it. And the next subject is uh, Broadwalk Piper. Uh, not Piper, I keep saying Piper. Broadwalk uh, Live uh, Atlantic City. He goes by. He went on the other day and said he's not going to participate on YouTube any longer. Uh, the two reasons he gave was uh, he's trying to kick the cigarette habit and he thought by switching over to pipes or cigars it would do it, but it hasn't. So that was one reason and the second reason was he's spending too much time on YouTube. Now that has been gnawing at me since he said that. Now an interesting thing, the iPad or one of the updates, you can track how many hours of screen time that you're actually on an iPad. So I was thinking do we spend too much time on YouTube? So here's my thoughts on this. Anything you get into that you enjoy, whether it's fishing, uh, reading a book, um, woodworking, you, spend, you tend to spend a lot of time doing it because you enjoy it. So, like, you, you, get, you get people that fish. They go out early in the morning, fish all day till the afternoon, they come home, and if you're into fly fishing, they're tying a fly, or you're fixing a reel, or restringing the rod, or making a rod. I mean, it consumes you, because you really enjoy it, you're passionate about it. Is that wrong? I don't think it is, as long as you're other parts of your life are in order. So if you're not neglecting kids, if you have kids, if you're not neglecting your wife, um, you do your work and do what you have to do, you do maintenance around the house, you cut the grass, etc. As long as you can do all of that, then I don't think you're abusing the time you spend doing what you enjoy. Now, I happen to enjoy making YouTube videos. I'm not a professional at it. I'm not the best at it. Matter of fact, I choose to do the videos the way I do them for ease of doing them. Um, I don't do a lot of editing. And I understand it shows the video quality is not as good as I was like it many times. But that's only because I have time restraints with work and I can't sit down for hours and edit a movie or... And I like editing because I like to learn it. But I don't think I'm over... Uh, obsessing over YouTube in, in my, my view. I mean, when I watch TV, basically I listen to TV. I don't really watch TV. Uh, 
and I have an iPad on a stand and I usually either reading something or looking at a YouTube video or because I always like to learn and YouTube is a great source for that and I'm not knocking uh, Broadwalk uh, the Broadwalk YouTuber saying that, I'm just looking at myself based on what he feels. And I would have to think that maybe he really didn't enjoy it. Which is fine, I mean, that's okay. Or you know, things change and you don't, you know, want to make videos. I tend to think anything that you really like to do, whether it's listen to music or paint or woodworking or metalworking or... If you really enjoy it, you tend to obsess about it. Anyway, some rambling thoughts. This is, the, like I said, the third or fourth time I'm trying to make this video, and uh, I think I pulled it off. Finally. Anyway, hope everybody has a good day. I'll catch you on the next one.